What's up guys, Raven here, and today I'm going to be showing off an awesome application I stumbled upon that I think is really sick. It is a 3D island planner. I've seen a few other 2D island planners within the community in the past few months, but to be honest, they just end up being a grid that doesn't really give you a full scope of what you need to see to make some of those key design ideas you're wanting to try out. It is important to note that this application is still in very early alpha stages, but even this early, I can see massive potential in it as a cool application when it comes to testing out new ideas. The best part about this app is that it is free and available for anybody to download. The link will be in the description. Okay now, the goal is for me to show off all the different uses of this application as it is right now, and then we can briefly talk about how this app could evolve and become the future of planning within the Animal Crossing community. First off, I want to say that this app looks beautiful, hands down a lot better than anything else I have seen to this point. Let's see what features we can currently access right now. It looks like currently we have access to water, cliffs, paths, buildings, and bridges and inclines. Then a save and load option, as well as an about tab to give props to the developers. First, let's take a look at what we can do with water. It looks as if we can easily create any streams, ponds, or rivers we want in game, as well as a curve off of the rivers, just like in the actual game. Next, the cliffs allow you to do, once again, exactly what terraforming allows you to do with, without the countless time you have to put into building up and tearing apart your entire island. Also, if you pair the water functionality with the cliffs, you can actually create beautiful waterfalls just like in the game. Next, we have paths. Now you have access to every basic path design that exists within New Horizons. Grass, dirt, stone, bricks, dark dirt, arched tile, sand, terracotta, and wood. This is perfect for marking paths from structure to structure or trying to get a general vibe of how you'd like your town structure to play out. Next we have buildings. Now this feature is cool because it gives you access to every major building that currently exists in the game. We have a villager's house, your house, your town plaza, nook and crannies, the Able Sisters, the museum, and the campsite. This is cool because it shows you these accurate 3D models that really allow you to get the spacing you'd like to organize your dream town. The final major feature in the 3D island planner is the inclines and bridges tab. Although it does not include all of the graphic options that New Horizon has to offer, once again it stays true to the spacing needed for inclines and bridges to really help you plot out your creations before you put the time into them in game. Now outside of these main features you can also have access to some alternative camera views such as an overhead view if you double tap the R key or you can even press the G key to pull up a grid view of the map which I think is very helpful. Once you have created a cool little town design and you'd like to save it for later, there is a save function that will then save the design to your computer to be loaded up at a later time. So if you can't do it all in one sitting, you won't lose all that time you put into designing. And finally, let's take a look at the About You tab. So in this tab, it states that this is a very early build, which means we can assume a lot more will come in the future, but it's cool to see all the different names of people that have helped work on this application. Just to show you guys what this application can do, I'm going to do a quick time lapse of me creating a small design while we take some time to reflect on what this app is and how it could grow in the near future. So first let's talk about how huge this app is for the community on the basis of time saved. As far as I know, this is the first 3D island planner to exist within Animal Crossing, and from what I can tell so far, it's really solid. Yes, there are things to be added to it, but you can tell the physics of this planner and the ability to see your town on a grid can help you to avoid costly mistakes that I have made way too many times. I don't know about you guys, but I cry tears of pure pain every time I take my time making a cool entrance to an area on my island only to find out that the bridge or incline leading up to that entrance is off center. The amount of time and effort I then have to put into just moving everything one space over to the right is so depressing. This is the kind of things this planner can help fix and I'm very excited to play around with it more. Next, let's talk about things that could be added in future updates. I think the biggest thing that this app needs, which would really take it to the next level, is decorations. Now, I won't get too greedy. Having some basic trees and plants even would be huge in terms of planning out some things. But can you imagine a few months down the line if the developers are able to include every decoration in the game to allow you to fully decorate your island before you put all that hard work and effort into the game? I think that would just be amazing. 
Obviously, these are big hopes and dreams, and I hope that this does get to that point someday. But who knows? Sometimes it's the small things like adding some graphics to those building designs that can really help make this designer pop. Okay, well, what do you guys think of my little creation I have here? Now this is something that would have taken me potentially hours in game, and who knows, I could have easily hated it. Yeah sure, it's a little rough around the edges, but I can really take a look from the outside and decide if this is something I want to include in my town before bulldozing down an already established area. Okay, well I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy day to check out this video. Like I said before, the link to this will be in the description. Remember, this is still a 3D island planner, so if your laptop is on its last limb, you may not be able to run this, but all in all, it shouldn't stress out your system too badly. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smack that sub button and give it a like. Comment below if you think you're going to try this out and what you think of it. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Bye.